Let's see in the action once again. That was beautiful. I hope we don't need to call to emergency because this is very dangerous throw. So usually suplex on tournaments can cause some damages. So be careful when you learning that techniques. Are you prepared to embark on a transformative journey that will redefine your approach to martial arts training? Welcome to Furious Karate for MMA Level 2, where tradition merged seamlessly with innovation to sculpt the ultimate fighter within you. Step into our world, where the timeless principles of traditional karate are infused with the explosive energy of MMA. Here you'll delve deep into the artistry of combat, mastering the intricate mechanism of punches, kicks, knee and elbow strikes, meticulously crafted to deliver maximum impact with every move. But that's just the beginning. Prepare to unleash your potential like never before as you explore the electrifying power of spinning back kicks, a signature technique destined to set you apart in any arena. Feel the thrill as you perfect a diverse range of wrestling techniques from Owen inspiring throws to lightning fast takedowns and sweeps, each maneuver honed to perfection to ensure your dominance in every facet of the fight. Yet our commitment to your success extends far beyond mere technique. In Furious Karate for MMA Level 2 we go beyond the physical realm, empowering you with the fusion of Kudo and cutting-edge self-defense strategies. Here you will not only master the art of combat, but also cultivate the mental resilience and strategic acumen needed to navigate life's challenges with confidence and poise. Join us on this exhilarating odyssey, where every lesson is an opportunity for growth and every challenge is stepping stone to greatness. Whether you are a seasoned practitioner seeking to refine your skills or a newcomer eager to carve out your path into the world of martial arts, Furious Karate for MMA Level 2 is your gateway to excellence. Seize the opportunity that awaits you. Enroll today and unlock the full potential of your martial arts prowess. The journey to greatness starts now. So once again, one, two and three. And don't forget to control him all the time, before throw, during the throw, and after the throw, you should continue with some techniques. Try to control his arm, his head, don't give him the chance to move and escape. How we can also use suplex, for example, we're trying to make leg takedown or two legs takedown, but he knows how to manage it, and he's stepping back like this. And right during that I'm changing my tactics and now I'm behind his back to do my suplex slam. Once again. As you can see I can be not right behind him, I can be on the side like this. And it also can work very well in this situation for the slamming. Another very good variation of combinations, also good in footwork when we are moving, is when we're using Ushira Geri in kicking combinations, I mean without punches. For example, inner low kick, then we just can simulate middle kick or either Mawashi Geri high kick, and right after that from this position it's comfortable for us to finish it with Ushira Geri. Let's add some speed. One more time. So this is how you can mix only kicks in different levels, of course.
Okay, let's talk how to block Mavashigiri. In most cases, we can block Mavashigiri. Correctly, they say how to protect against Mavashigiri. So, I mean, how to evade. For example, you can just break the distance with this jump backward, like this. For example, your opponent is starting his combination with some punching techniques and want to finish it with Mavashigiri. And you should jump back and also bend your back backward also a little bit, just to do not get the hit. For example, if I'm starting with this combination, some punching, punching, I'm ready for Mavashigiri kick and I'm doing it and my opponent is just stepping back and evade from this kick. But sometimes just half of this combination is enough. I mean, I had a lot of sparrings and fights when my opponent is just trying to hit Mavashigiri and I just need to bend my torso backward like this and this is enough. If someone is using knee strikes against you, what to do? Never put your head down like this, right to the opponent's strikes. This is number one, don't. Of course he will try to put your head down, this is the part of technique. What I have to do, instead of putting head down, I want to squat a little bit on my legs. And I should pull my hip forward like this, to control my balance better. The second one, I want to use his arms. I want to grab it, I want to catch it, hold it like this. And I'm trying to put off his balance using joints, like try to control joints. Right at that moment, try to punch him or attack him. Because you can see his chest is open. So I control him, body punch. Body hook, body uppercut. If his head is open, trying to use elbow. This is good distance for that. So trying to mix it together in action. Body punch, elbow strike. Body punch, elbow strike. In ideal situation, he gonna leave you and gonna think before catch you again. Like this. Look at this in dynamic. Catch him, punch him, strike him. I'm not sure that a lot of fighters gonna continue with the same strategy after that. In most cases, most fighters just break the distance and will try something else. In my opinion, is the most effective way to protect yourself. So first of all, elbow, counterattacks, elbows and arm control. Because I also want to control his body, not just punch him, but control his balance, his stance. Because now I don't want to leave him till I finish with my plans. Because I have a lot of work. Okay, today we're gonna learn some combinations and counter strikes if your opponent is using low kick or middle kick against you. Let's start from low kick. And the first one, like from Muay Thai, with some slight variations, you can catch his kick. The first option, we can use jab right to his face. 